June 5th, 2016. Trail up near about 8,500 feet on the uh, Nebo Loop. I was here once before. Looks like a lightning strike on this Trail 97. Here's another lightning strike. I believe that's what these are. But I don't believe the lightning strike. I see no charring on that tree. This is the first time I've seen this. You see tree leans. Usually always the same direction. Here's one, two, three, four in one direction. And one in the opposite direction. And, uh, and this is not far from the place where those several trees were broken off near the trail. And they're all up there, the three of them. And here's the fourth tree, and this appears it fell over from where it was rooted. So three of the four appear to be rooted, and one of them, who knows where it came from. And then here in the background, there's a couple of smaller leans. There's three over there. The unusual thing about this is you see one or two leans usually in all well, a square hundred yards, but I, I haven't seen it this many anywhere in this forest like this. But this is an aspen forest with just a few mixed pines. Now here's the thing that's got me really wondering about this. Here we've got a tree lane, and the root portion of the tree is up in the tree. Now it's not that high. I'll go over and take a look at the end. And then here's another tree that's leaned against a third one. This just seems, and this is within, oh, 150 feet of that other group of trees I just photographed. This is the base of the one tree that's barely leaning over. And you can see that the, appears the root ball kicked back and it's well rotted from insects. But here's the root ball up in the air. There's the root ball again. Here we follow it down. It gets narrower and narrower as we come down here. And there appears to be the top of the tree. I do not know of any possible explanation in nature how a tree can wind up with its butt end up in the air. Wind's not strong enough to do that. That's a thousand pound log. And the thing is, there's another one within about a hundred yards of this. I gotta find it. And here's a tree hang up in the tree. Granted, it's an old rotted tree. And it appears the bottom portion is down here. So that could be natural. The only explanation I can come up for that butt end of trees up in the air is a lightning strike just literally exploded and the trees just cartwheel up into the air. But I've never seen it, never heard of that happening. Here's another teepee structure. All these structures are within about 50 feet of each other. You can see we've got three trees leaning up, coming from at least two different directions here. All larger trees. I don't see any small trees. And here is a second tree with the butt end of it up in the tree. It's not as heavy. That's probably a 300 to 400 pound log. But again, how in the world could that happen in nature? Mosquitoes are eating me alive. Gotta get some cutter next time. There it is. This is part of that batch that I showed before. I think there's one more around here. 
I've never seen this anywhere in the woods before. Trees upside down in tree lanes. Never seen it. And I probably I'm out in the woods probably 10, 15 days a year. And here's another section with several tree lanes. Now they're all going the same direction. I could uh, say these are all possibly wind here. Here's another one over here. No real teepee structures that we have two sets of two lanes against each other. But again an awful lot of lanes but that just might be the wind conditions here. Here's one small lane actually two right over there going opposite directions from each other. Two smaller trees. Here's another teepee structure. Three trees against a one that's been hit by lightning. Again, this is, you can see charring and bark gone. Now these structures all appear old. I see none of the interweaving. If these were done by Sasquatches, they've probably moved out of here many years ago. Because there are leaning trees everywhere up here. And the thing is, is I walked a mile to get to this place. And I didn't see one other place where there were multiple um, trees leaning against one tree like there is right here. But here, within this section of uh, 500 square yards, like, what have I seen, 10, 15? Here's another one right here. Again, three trees um, in a structure going different directions. But again, the bark's gone. This could be a ridge. It's extremely prone. There's another one over there. It's extremely prone to lightning strikes. But it's the ones where the butt end is up in the air that have really got me mystified. Because I can't even see how lightning blowing up a tree is going to be able to do that. That I can't get. And here's another one. And you know, I've noticed in almost every case it's three trees. Not four. There was one with four, but all these have had three trees and basically coming from two different directions. And then there's one more right over there. And these look like, if you didn't know better, these look like teepees the Plains Indians would have made. Teepee poles almost. They either leaned up. At least the beginnings of them. Here are some interesting things right off the trail. Couple of breaks. Let me pan right here. Tree bent over, and then two trees leaned over it. And those had to be put there by someone because they're old and dead. They didn't fall. They've been dead a lot longer than that green tree that's turned over. So something or somebody put those there. And these are right off the trail, not far. They're within a half a mile 